Well, I've been volunteering with FLAC for about six or seven months and I'm training for a marathon to raise money to keep us going. Um, I think the most unique thing that FLAC has to offer is this trust and responsibility. So many projects aimed at people with addiction issues, mental health issues, unemployment, chaotic lifestyles and homelessness, they actually work on the lack of trust that people have in themselves. They reinforce the feeling that people's lives are out of control and that the chaos they're going through is their fate. You walk into an average institution and the message you get from the way that people act and speak towards you is that you need some kind of patronising containment, some cocoon around you to protect you from yourself. The negative labels that we let get attached to ourselves when we go through something traumatic, like a mental breakdown that ends in us losing a job or a relationship or the loss of someone close, or even just the experience of living, trying to be a human being, those labels end up sticking and keeping us in the past, trying to unlock the enigma of what went wrong. And they lead us eventually to conclude that it's something about us that's fundamentally bad. Being labelled, being diagnosed with an illness or being labelled as an addict or as a tramp or as a street drinker, that reinforces that conclusion. The FLAC actively works against labelling and the marginalisation of people with these kinds of issues because everyone that walks through the door becomes part of what's going on. Everyone is handed a sort of fresh slate to start from creatively. It's not a case of being given more leeway or freedom as you prove that you can be trusted. Flat comes from the starting point of trust. Obviously there's boundaries about what's acceptable behaviour, but it's common sense and people are treated as adults who can tune into that for themselves. There's no suspiciousness or judgement of people and there's no need to back up your problem behaviours with some kind of excuse because the negative stuff's not really relevant as long as you're engaging with what you're doing at FLAC. It's not sensationalised because no one's treating you with these kind of kid gloves as though you're special because of your problems. You're special because of what you can do, like write a poem or a play, make a film, tell a joke, make, make matchsticks models or fix bikes, make people laugh, cheer people up, make a really good cup of tea. And people are free to engage at whatever level they'd like, from using an opportunity to meet friends in a way that the place that's away from the negative focus that pervades the hostels, using a chance to improve their computer and literacy skills, contributing some artwork or poetry, contributing their opinions, or starting to take the initiative and come up with new projects and articles and ideas. There's this openness to the atmosphere of flat that lets people breathe and becomes themselves a bit more. It's like a tree that becomes more alive as each one of its branches reaches out into the air and blossoms with these creative ideas. Even though there's no pressure on people to change, everyone who's been involved so far, from staff to volunteers to service users, has become more confident, they've become more themselves and happier with who they are, or at least more aware of who they are and what they want from life. Several people have stopped taking Class A drugs, several have gotten jobs, people have learned loads of new skills, people have become a lot more assertive and are embracing their lives a lot more. I think everyone has moved towards accepting themselves as they are rather than beating themselves up with what they aren't or what they haven't done. Flack actually gives you the ownership of something. And if you have an idea, the response from others is not yes or no, but tell me more, how can we make that a reality? Like, how would that work? And I think that's really refreshing. There's really nothing like it. Coffee, yeah? Tea, please. Diane? Yeah? You like a drink? No, thanks. Nick? Yeah? yeah. Tea? No, I'm fine, thanks, mate. Yeah.